Welcome everybody to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. For those of you who are here for the first time, my name is Alan and I like talking about new cars. I like breaking them down. I just like cars probably way too much, but I'd also love to engage a conversation about these new cars and, and going over what we like about them, what we dislike about them. And today we're going to be talking about the new Dodge Charger Daytona SRT concept. Kind of a long name, but that's okay. There are worse ones out there. Now we don't know everything about this car yet. We don't know the horsepower. We don't know the torque. We don't know the acceleration numbers, but there's still a lot to talk about with this concept. And while I do have my critiques of this concept, to be honest, I've got quite a few. We're gonna save that for last and go to the good stuff first. So without further ado, let's get started. So first and foremost, what is this concept? Well, it's Dodge's first attempt to break into the electric era. To be honest, I hope it doesn't become an era, but that's kind of what it's shaping up to be. But if we keep getting stuff like this, I'm not too worried because this is this is Dodge's first attempt at an electric vehicle. This is their first electric car. Of course, it's a concept, so it's not 100% like ready to go, but they said a version of this will be going into production in 2023, so we can look forward to that. Now, why did Dodge build this? Well, like I said, everybody's kind of moving towards electric and Dodge needs to follow as well if they don't want to get left behind in a lot of areas. The industry is kind of moving as a whole, for the most part, towards electric. They're no longer focusing so much on internal combustion. They're kind of turning their focus towards electric powertrains and electric vehicles. And I think Dodge is being very smart and building an electric muscle car, something actually kind of irrational, something that's not built to just be a family hauler that happens to be stupid fast. It is an actual electric car that's made to be cool, right? Now I know there's like the Tesla Model S Plaid and stuff, but that what I'm trying to say is that the Plaid, for example, is a four door that they modified to be fast. This is something that from the start has been meant to be just a fast, cool car. Now, obviously it's practical, it's got four seats, it's got a trunk, but at the end of the day, it's it's built to be just a cool Dodge muscle car. Like that's what it's supposed to be. And I I, I think that's super cool. I, I love how Dodge is staying true to who they are as a company instead of just building an electric car like everybody else. They're not trying to chase the sales numbers so much, or maybe they are, I don't know. In any case, they're building something unique and I applaud them for that. Something else that I applaud Dodge for is building a fantastic interior. This interior is just awesome. I love it. I think it looks great. I love the LED accent going around. I love the kind of mesh look that they're going for on the doors and kind of following the LED pattern there. The materials look really high quality. They got nice looking leather, some metal, some probably high quality plastics. It just looks very well put together. It looks really, really nice. And I'm, I'm just super impressed that Dodge put something together like this because my experience with Dodge is that their interiors have been kind of uh, basic, I guess. N not the nicest feeling interiors, but this looks like a breath of fresh air. It looks really, really nice. The touchscreen looks really well integrated. The gauge as well. Steering wheel, the steering wheel looks fantastic in my opinion. It's got the flat bottom. It's got what looks like an illuminated SRT emblem on there. I, I can't confirm that it's glowing, but it looks like it's glowing. And I, that's pretty cool. I hope that makes it into the, the production version. But it looks really, really nice, really well put together. The shift knob looks really, really sweet. And you can't forget the launch control button. It looks like you flip it up Lamborghini style and then you're ready to go. I think that looks just super cool. Like that's, that's cool. We need more stuff like this in cars to be completely honest. So yeah, like I said, the interior looks really, really nice. It looks really well put together. Obviously it's got four seats. The seats themselves look super, super comfortable. They look really nice. They've got carbon fiber bits, they've got plastic bits, they've got leather bits. I love it when companies like mix together materials where they stack them on top of each other. I don't like seeing like the same one or two materials across the board. I like seeing the carbon fiber with the plastic and then they got the padding on the side and then the leather. I, I think that looks really, really nice and it keeps things fresh. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm a huge fan of this interior. Good job, Dodge. I, I think it looks great, but I'm not a huge fan of, however, is the exterior. And this is the part of the video where we get into some of my not so likes with the vehicle. Um, first things first, I had been hoping that this was gonna be something kind of new, to be honest. I, I wanted something new, something fresh, maybe not a completely new car, but this does really look like a charger that was given two doors. And I don't think that's super creative. I was hoping for something kind of new. 
And at the same time, it kind of confuses me because Dodge already has a two-door platform, the Challenger. So I don't understand why they took a car that was four doors, converted it to a two-door, and then made it electric. I think it would have made a lot more sense to just take the Challenger and make it electric. Not only that, but I... This is a personal opinion, I understand, but I like the Challenger's looks a little bit more than I like the Charger's looks. I, the Charger's not a bad looking vehicle, but it, I don't think it has the looks that the Challenger does. I personally would have preferred that they had taken the Challenger, sharpened it up a little bit, and then made that their electric muscle car. That's that's what I would have done personally. I think it would have saved money. I think it would have made things less complex, and I think it would have ended up um pulling off the retro look a little bit better now in terms of the retro look i think this pulls it off really well like you can absolutely tell this is supposed to look like a classic muscle car like there's no question about that now i just don't think it looks very good and it's not that i don't like the muscle car style it's just i there's something about it i can't quite put my my finger on it but it just it doesn't quite do it for me like it it looks cool from certain angles but from others it just doesn't really and i i wish i could be more specific but the looks just aren't really doing it for me maybe maybe it's just too simple i don't know and the very last thing that we need to talk about is the sound now i don't know about you guys but i'm pretty excited that dodge is actually trying to make something that sounds cool because electric cars don't really have a sound now the porsche take on has a uh exhaust no exhaust note type thing and it sounds pretty cool not gonna lie i've heard one in person it does not sound bad this however it is unique but i i don't know i'm not a huge fan of it take a listen it's just a little too much it doesn't quite sound very cool and i know that's subjective but i don't know however i will say the startup sound is awesome. Like how, how cool is that? Like I would turn the car on and off just to hear that sound over and over again. I think that sound is super, super cool. If you listen closely, it sounds like there's like a, like a lion roaring with it starting up. That, that is seriously cool. We need more of that Dodge. Good job on that. I, I I'm a big fan of that. But everything else, the, the revving and the idle is just kind of underwhelming and kind of annoying. I I would not appreciate someone revving their Charger Daytona SRT. I, I just, I don't know. It just doesn't really sound good to me. But that is my opinion and who cares about my opinion. I want to see what you guys have to say. So go ahead and put in the comments down below what you think about this concept. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I want to know your thoughts on this concept too, because to be honest, I'm pretty curious. I I went and watched the live stream of the reveal and um, people were, uh, I'm just going to say that it was mixed. Although I think there were more people not liking it than there were liking it, but I still want to hear what you guys have to say. And if you like this video, hit that like button. A subscription would be super cool as well, but you don't have to. That's totally cool. I don't mind. Let me know what vehicle you want me to talk about next, whether it be a concept vehicle or a new car. That Civic Type R just got released. I could talk about that too. But other than that, this video is over and I'll see you next time.